Ali, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I've got the Gloss Bomb Dip Clip on Luminizer. So if you guys want the tea, the swatches, all that fun stuff, then go ahead and keep on watching. Make sure that you do leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to my channel. This product launched a little while ago and I'm not sure, but I think it launched at the same time as the Gloss Bomb Cream Duo Set. I did actually film a video on that. It's either already out or it's on its way to being out. I'm actually wearing one of the shades now, but this product here actually caused quite a little bit of a stir on the socials. I think a lot of people thought it was an April Fool's joke. I didn't personally purchase this one. It was actually gifted to me by someone that I know. And I thought I would film it just for the people who did actually want to know about the product. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see what it's all about. So I guess this is the packaging and it shows you the front of the product and the side. Okay. And it doesn't have the same quantity as the original Gloss Bomb. It's got a little bit less in it. So this has 0.21 fluid ounces and I think the original Gloss Bomb has 0.3. And we're going to go ahead and just take a look at it. So here is what the packaging looks like. It's cute, I'm not even going to lie. It's a cute little product and then it's just got the clip on the back and I think I've seen somewhere that the clip is removable yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back on and show you guys so it literally just detaches like that and you could just you know pop this in your bag personally for me when I see this straight away I'm thinking little bit gimmicky as you guys saw when they had the sort of keychain gloss bomb i was a bit like you lot are selling me a gimmick and guess what guys it's in the shade fenty glow fenty glow has made another appearance yet again but you know what i guess i can't complain because it is a new product so i'm gonna put my beef with fenty glow aside for now but yeah, I just don't really see a lot of people actually using this clip function. I think a lot of people, if they buy this, will just throw it in their bag. That's just my personal opinion. So it could have literally been sold like this. That's just what it looks like. And it looks identical to the Fenty Glow colour. As much as I have beef with Fenty for continuously bringing out Fenty Glow, they did pretty much match the shade. The main concerns that people had with this is that they would have to put their fingers in the product and that it would collect bacteria. And with the pandemic going on, it just wasn't a hygienic product. But the way I see it is people still use their Vaseline tins, people still use their Carmex. That's your personal product. And how careful you are with that in terms of hygiene is completely your responsibility. So I'm not gonna judge anyone who gets this product and I'm not gonna judge anyone who doesn't get it because that's your money, that's your business, okay? I'm just here to deliver the tea. I was given this product for free, so I thought I would film it for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. I have a very, oh no. So, I don't know why, but I thought it was more solid than it is. Look how much I have put on my finger. I was just trying to break the layer on top, but somehow I've managed to completely submerge my finger in there. <gasps> I can't believe this. I don't even know what to do. Okay, well, that's that. I've managed to just ruin the aesthetic in 0.2 seconds, but yeah. Okay, so it is thicker than the Fenty Glow, just from the feeling. So that's what the swatch looks like. I'm not even gonna lie, it looks like a clay gloss. Let's be honest. On the back of my hand there. Okay, I am very glad that it does have that same Fenty Glow scent because you guys know that I love that and because I've currently got on the Gloss Bomb Cream Formula, I am itching to get that scent off. Okay, yeah, this is very sticky. I don't know about this one, Fenty. I don't know. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my lips and we're gonna try on this shade. I can't believe that I've ruined the product already. Yeah, she's very thick. On the lips, it doesn't feel as sticky as it does when you're handling it with your fingers. It does feel like a gloss though, I'm not gonna lie. Is it meant to be just a gloss in a different packaging? It does say gloss bomb dip. So maybe it's just like a thicker gloss formula because it doesn't feel like a Vaseline or a, you know, like a lip balm. Yeah, so I'm taking it as a lip gloss in just a different packaging. We've all seen Fenty Glow before, so there isn't too much that I can say about this product apart from I don't really think that it's any more convenient than having a gloss bomb. Unless you use the clip function, it's not any different to that. If anything, it's smaller. So if you do throw this in your bag, you're more likely to lose it. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I just don't see myself walking around with a gloss bomb clipped on my shirt. Like, you know, I mean, it's probably not intended for to be clipped on your shirt. But I don't see myself walking around with a gloss bomb by my hip or anything like that. I will do it just to see if it comes off or anything like that and I will update the comment section when I do that but for now wow, this is actually a lot stickier than I don't know I just thought it was going to be more balmy than that but as you guys can see it's very much a sticky formula see so I'm not going to waste that I'm going to put it on my lips So yeah, I don't think this is a necessity. This is just a gimmicky product. It's got less product than the Gloss Bomb in it. It's exactly the same shade. And I feel like they look exactly the same too. I mean, she's cute, but she's Fenty Glow. We know and love her already. So there isn't anything new here. It's just a new packaging and a little clip thingy on the back. I forgot to mention another downside to this product is it that your fingers do get dirty. I suppose with things like Vaseline, when you use your fingers to apply it you don't really think okay now i've got vaseline on my fingers vaseline isn't you know i put vaseline on my skin when i was a kid you know i had it all over my i was dripping in vaseline you know my face was covered in vaseline but i suppose you don't really want a lip gloss on your fingers what do you do at that point because you can't wipe it on your clothes you can't you know you can't rub it into your hand you don't want to do that yeah, I thought, I don't even know why I didn't even think about that. Like, I was just now playing with it after I finished recording and I was like, um, what do I do with this now? And it was just there on my finger. So I was like, well, this is inconvenient. So that is actually a downside. Mm. Bear that in mind when you think about this product. Personally, I would just save my money and get a Fenty Globe just because it has more product in it. That's just my personal take. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Are you going to pick up this product? Does the hygiene factor put you off? Is it gimmicky? You know, let's have a discussion. Let's talk. I don't know if we're running out of ideas at the Fenty headquarters or what, but this one, I don't know, man. It's hard to say I don't like it because it's just Fenty Glow and it's just, you know, the lip gloss in some other plastic formula. But you guys know I'm not really one for the gimmicky type of products. And I feel like that's what this is, kind of. What I might do is sort of throw this in my bag and just clip it to one of the inside compartments. That way, if I do forget my gloss, this will always be in there. So this might just be one of those things that you just throw in your bag and keep it there permanently. Just so you have a backup if you're ever in a situation where you've forgotten your gloss at home. Because listen to me, the amount of times that I've done that is a bit of a joke. It is actually a bit of a joke. So this can be my permanent bag backup. Yeah, I found a use for the product, so I'm happy. And I am gonna close the video there. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, what's going on? What is going on? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel once again, and I'll see you in my next one.